you Monday. Whoa! Hey, what's up, guys? Jacob Bill, CEO of Bill Enterprises. Uh, I actually kind of did this backwards today. Uh, typically, I'll do the Motivation Monday before I go to the gym. So I'm like normally like in the gym parking lot. And I'm doing my pre-workout. I'm getting all pumped up for the workout. I just wanted to get to the gym this morning and, you know, get back to the schedule. I was sicker than a dog uh, for about a week. So... You know, I started going to the gym again. The gyms are open back up. Like, yeah, you know, and I'm working on my, you know, my little girl arms, you know, and, and I got sick. And so pretty much, you know, took my progress and just disregard any kind of progress. And so Monday, boom, back in the gym, do my thing is what is. All right. So a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on. This Motivation Monday, I want to talk about courage. Do you have the courage to fail? Do you have the courage to do something, to change something, to improve, to be better, to put yourself out there, right? Like I am actually sitting here, I'm getting ready to go up. I'm doing a bunch of demo uh, on the property up in Conifers. So I'll be, you know, chainsaw and sledgehammer and I'll be ripping decks out and a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm actually sitting here right outside of um i forgot what what is what is this place called here uh identigo right uh here in colorado to get my fingerprints done why am i getting my fingerprints done because i am actually studying to get my texas real estate license so as soon as we hit texas we can go ahead and do everything in-house so i am studying to get my real estate license in Texas. Now, with my master's degree, they're going to waive some of the uh, some of the credits, so some of the courses will be waived due to my degree, which is cool, but still a lot of studying. So, the reason why I'm bringing all this up is that, you know, with me doing my channel rebrand on YouTube and getting my real estate license and <laughs> going into another property, a property that needs significant work. <laughs> it takes courage. It takes courage to want to go out and be better and do better. Is my new YouTube brand going to work? Is Billet TV going to be a thing? I don't know. I'm going to try. I'm going to do what I can. I've got great support. You know, I've got some resources I can throw out. But who, I mean, the thing can blow up in my face. I haven't even built the website yet. The website's not even built yet. And I'm like, I'm like advertising it already, you know, so it's going to be what's called a tube website. And so I, I need to get the template, the whole nine yards. I need to transition over to HostGator, which hosts all of my servers for my other projects uh, and my other websites. So that is a work in progress, but it could blow up in my face. It, it just, it, it could just blow up in my face and not go anywhere. And, but you know what? I tried. I tried and I did it and who knows it could take off <laughs> like I always tell people man my first three companies ate shit and died my first three companies did not do well they failed a lot of money I've had investments fail a lot of money you know and does it suck yeah but if I didn't take the risks to do the things that I have done, I would not be where I'm at. I would not have a successful corporation. I would not be able to basically do what I want to do at whatever time. Now I'm a workaholic, so I'm always grinding. I'm always working. I don't need to anymore. I mean, I, I kind of I kind of won the game, you know. Retired at 31 four years ago. I just turned 35. <clears throat> However, I'm working for my company. I choose to work. I can exit at any time. I can sell and be done. Sell my position or hold on to my position and just have a successor, which is what eventually Zoe is, Zoe is going to be the successor of the corp. So I'll, I'll keep working for another 15 years, whatever. I enjoy what I do. And if I don't want to work, if I want to take a month off or six months off, I can. Like, whatever, you know? Uh, but I, I enjoy being active. I enjoy stuff. This, this, is, this is fun to me, you know? Some days suck, you know, but I like money. I like, I like to make money. I think all of us do, you know? But for you, I have a lot of people, like even, even some of the comments 
uh, on the walkthrough video of the property that I'm going up to today. You know, a lot of people like, hey, you know, like, you know, I want to do this. I want to get into this. How do I start? This is my dream. Awesome. Start. Start. If you don't have the money, that's fine. Because, I mean, it can be capital intensive. So use your first property. If you can't get a loan for your personal property, like start with your, and I tell people that want to get in real estate all the time, start with your primary residence. It's nice. You can learn the ropes. You've already got the loan out on it. Uh, or you can, if you have not bought a house, but you want to buy a primary residence, you know, it's a lot easier to get a primary residence mortgage compared to like an investment mortgage. Investment mortgages uh, typically require a lot more. So start with your primary. Go with your primary. See if it's for you. See if this is something that you want to do before you really start putting money into it. Cool thing is you stay there two years, you sell, you pay no capital gains, you can take your profits, grab yourself another primary, you can do that every two years. Some people do that, they make really good money. They'll make a couple hundred thousand dollars a year, or excuse me, a couple hundred thousand dollars every two years, you know, on primaries. So they'll flip a house every two years. So the side project is a side thing they like to do. Some people like us, we flip multiple properties a year. So, you know, we carry multiple mortgages, the whole nine yards. However, if you can't do it, get involved, start, get involved with companies like ours or other companies, REITs and other companies that are in real estate and invest what you can, grow that, learn about it, follow it, and then start doing it yourself. You know, the whole thing is, is that, you, you have to have the courage to just do it, to just go. Trust me, you're going to fail. Like that, if you, if you want to do something different than work, watch TV, and sleep, which, and some people spend their entire lives doing that. If you want to do that, perfect. Do your thing. Do your thing. L li live that life. If it makes you happy, Fuck it. I don't care what you do. But if you want something more, if you want to do something different, you need to have the courage to try. And not everything you do is going to be gold. It's not. You're going to fail. Just learn from it and move on. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. We've been doing a lot of this stuff for a while. Some of our properties don't do well. I mean, we make money, but some of them don't do well. For example, we have the, the Nebraska property. Was already a contract. It's going to sell. Good to go. A little bit longer than we anticipated, but we kind of screwed off and took a vacation and did a bunch of whatever. It, just, it The timeline was not how we wanted it, but it's our fault. Nobody else's fault. It's our fault. Right? Well, run into issues. Lost a contract. Now we're dealing with lawsuit. So does that cost money? Yeah. I mean, I got I got to pay the retainer this week. You know, I got to pay the lawyer, the retainer so we can proceed with what we need to do. You know, yeah, it sucks. It's not a fail, but it sucks. And it's something that's going to be prolonged for another three or four months. So the, we're going to basically be sitting on the property for an extra year. When everything's said and done, there is going to be a good return. If the lawsuit's a win, there'll be a good return on it. And then we'll also be selling it at a later date, you know, but it, it is, it is a, it is a non-optimal uh, result for that property. Now, does that happen all the time? No, this is actually the first time that we've dealt with something like this with all the properties and flips that we've done so far. First time. Then you'll get one like the California property. That house sorting contract is going to be it's going to be sold later this month. It's done. We had offers on that property before we even got home from California, and it's it's sold. It's in contract. It's 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 done. It's over, and that's going to be a really good return for us, you know. But again, we we had to take the risk. We had to the opportunity present itself. We, you know, our real estate agent, you know, got a hold of us after the renter moved out and said, you guys need to get here. 
a lot of work needs to get done. It's going to be expensive unless you guys do it yourselves. So we got notified. We packed the vehicle. We were on the road the next morning. And we put everything we put everything aside because we knew we knew that would be a big return if we did it right. And we did. You know? But again, the risk, the risk of driving out there. And I had to suspend multiple contracts and some of the things that I was involved with because I wasn't going to charge my clients while I was out there. I wasn't going to charge them for that because I couldn't pay attention to them. So I literally cut off, I don't know, about 40% of our business revenue. I cut it off for two weeks. Now, that's a risk. Because think about it. If I went out, we did all this stuff in California, and California didn't sell. Say, say, sell the market. I literally just decreased the revenue of my corporation by 40% to go put a bunch of time into something that may not sell for a while. Because real estate is an illiquid asset. Sometimes the property does not move how you want it to. You know, so again, we took the risk. We went out. We did it. It worked how it's supposed to work. And, you know, we're pretty good at what we do. You know, so again, it's, if you if you guys are wanting to do something, it's Monday. A lot of you guys have dreams. We only got one shot of this. We only got one shot at life. I'm I'm almost halfway through. I'm 35 now. As of the 11th. I'm 35 years old. I'm halfway through this bitch. And I want more. I want to experience more. I want to go out and do more. I want to be more. I want to leave a legacy. I want to have something. I want to have something great. And I have a great life. But I want I want a little bit more. I, I want the corporation to be a little bit bigger. I, we have a lot of plans for it. You know, but we can't we can't be too conservative and hold ourselves back. If we see an opportunity, it makes sense. Like we need to go after it. And everybody else who wants to do similar their life, there's oper there you can go online and you can find opportunity anywhere. You can do anything. You can do anything in life. Within reason. Within reason. I gotta throw that out there. You know, if you're five foot two, you're probably not going to go to the NBA is what it is, right? But there is opportunity everywhere. There's opportunity in our company. If you guys are interested, there's opportunity in a bunch of other companies out there. There's opportunities to go out and learn and get educated on what you want to do and go off and do it. You know, there's a bunch of way to generate capital. There, There is just so much opportunity in the world that it's really up to the individual to take to have the courage to take the risk and go out and follow their dreams. So let me know in the chat. Let me know what you guys are wanting to do. Let me know what you feel is stopping you. Let me, let me hear about your failures. Let me hear about your successes. Like, let's do this. It's Monday, man. We're, we're more than halfway through the year now, right? What are we going to do for 2020? 2020 has been a bitch for a lot of people. So um, how are we going to make this next half better? Let me know in the comments. Anyways, kill it today, guys. Uh, I'll be uploading multiple videos. I will see you for Power Networking at 5, my time. And there will be other content uploaded today for Bullet TV. So, all right, guys. I'm out. Take care.